Welcome back. Uh, we wrap up our week of coverage on the U.S.-Africa Summit with part three of my conversation with Guinean President John Dramani Mahama, who is also the current chairman of the Economic Community of West Africa, ECOWAS. He tells us about the threat of Islamist insurgents, Boko Haram, and the fight to contain the Ebola virus. At the beginning of the epidemic, it happened that the three countries that were affected, you know, did not have enough resources to throw at it and contain it immediately. The World Health Organization, Medicine and Frontier, all went in to try to help, but the level of resources and logistics needed to contain it quickly were not available. It's a pity that uh, we now have resources coming in, but I, be, I, I guess the resources will be helpful. It's better late than never. World Health Organization has uh, placed $100 million to the three countries to help contain it. Um, World Bank has also uh, committed $200 million. I think with these resources, we can get protective clothing. We can set up uh, proper quarantine uh, stations. You know, we can um, do a lot of other things that uh, make it possible for us uh, to contain. But I, I, I think first we shouldn't panic. We should maintain a level head. As chairman of ECOWAS, I held a, a meeting of health ministers in Accra to discuss the epidemic and um, as soon as I get back we're going to call the health ministers to come again and update us on the status and what additional measures need to be taken to contain the epidemic. Yes. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. I was just going to touch on terrorism quickly. Yes, yeah, It's a new global change, an ever-changing world. We've come from the Cold War to globalization, you know, and now we've come to a situation that is more predictable than it ever was. You know, terrorism has reared its head and Nigeria is um, uh, affected. Um, we called a meeting in Accra again as ECOWAS chair and the major issue of discussion was Boko Haram and then also the crisis in northern Mali. We took some quite effective decisions. We have agreed to share intelligence amongst each other to work together to defeat terrorism. I think that it's not something that one country alone can confront. It needs uh, sub-regional solidarity and international solidarity to be able to defeat terrorism. Uh, but Mr. President, is, are there things sometimes we don't get to know? Because what uh, many citizens of Nigeria, for example, accuse the government of is of no information. Or uh, sometimes they feel like nothing is happening, but the government says, we're doing something. As ECOWAS, uh, are there things that uh, you know that uh, you're doing that perhaps citizens never get to know? Well, um, the um, last meeting we held, you know, was to build the kind of cooperation that could confront uh, um, the Boko Haram menace. Um, for instance, uh, Cameroon and Chad were invited to that ECOWAS meeting and they were fully represented. And so in the discussion and update that took place, the neighboring countries around Nigeria you know, were included. And so you notice that those three countries are working more in concert now than they did before to try and confront the menace. And that's a first you know, step. We also discussed Northern Mali crisis. We invited Algeria and Mauritania that are neighbors of Mali. And subsequent to our meeting, there was a meeting in Algeria, Algiers in, um, uh, in uh, July. When was it? In July, yes. And um, at that meeting, the uh, partners to the discussion of peace in Mali were all present, and they took some quite useful decisions. Well, that was Guinean President John Dramani Mahama.